Monica Sellers will play in the second women's semi-final to see who plays the winner of this match. Well, they have an interesting head-to-head. -head. Hingis is up 6-2. Hingis won the first five head-to-heads against Monica Sellis. The first few matches, Hingis just crushed Sellis. But in the last 12 months, Monica's had her fair share of wins, especially the French Open in the semifinals, and then the Canadian Open. Last time they played, though, it was Hingis. And that last meeting between those two was at the U.S. Open. So three of the last four Grand Slams, Sellis and Hingis have met. Well, Love double fault, Love 30. Moresmo has not dropped serve since the seventh game of the first set. She served a, nearly a perfect second set against Davenport, somebody who's really hard to serve to. That sails, and now three break points for Davenport. Davenport knows this is a big game here, and uh, an errant backhand gave her those three break points. You very rarely see Lindsay Davenport miss a return serve on a second serve. Still break point. There's the first break in a while, as you pointed out, Pam Shriver, and it is two games to one. Davenport will serve, and we come back to this coverage of the Australian Open, the first Grand Slam. Lindsay Davenport with a break in the third. Two semi-finalists, Tommy Haas and Yevgeny Kafelnikov, the only seed left in the men's division, seeded 10. Enquist, I think, was next to be seeded. And he was seated in the minds of most of the people out here because, as you mentioned, he hadn't lost a match going into it. Well, he had a very tough draw all the way through, and he felt that um, Rios pulled out. At a late stage, and, and he would have been involved in the seeds had that happened just a little earlier. Well, and also Ivan Izovich pulled out about an Ivan hour Izovich. after the matches started on the Monday, yep. as you see Lindsay Davenport. little hesitation, sir, volley play, which Hingis does well, but... That just not working for Davenport. The biggest pullout of all happened before the tournament ever started when Pete Sampras decided not to come down here. Thirty fifteen, two one with a break, third set to Davenport. Got the line, 30 all. The ninth backhand winner for Moresmo. Davenport has four more, but that's been a very useful shot for the 19-year-old French woman. There you see the numbers, the forehand side of Moresmo. That's extraordinary. That, that, those are Groff-like numbers. Oh, that was well played. Came in at exactly the right time and then did a very solid backhand winner for the winner and that gives you a game point. That was a 30-all point, so you know it's a big point. Look at those hands on the volley. We've spoken about her great doubles play. Oh. Oh. Well, there's a couple in, uh, of shots in this game that are just with the heavy topspin, just enough to bring him on the line. There was a forehand here, and then there's a backhand a couple of points ago. And it helps crawl the ball over the net there. Now a 
a great point. Now, remember this point for a potential turning point. Watch this. Out of reach and break point. Suddenly, Moresmo breaks back into this two games all now in the third. Boy, that was an important game that for Marisma because the momentum certainly after the break against her was with Lindsay Davenport and now it's back to anybody's guess. Wow, Lindsay from game point up, losing three straight points to drop serve. But a lot of winners from Marisma in that little streak and continuing in here with her sixth ace, each player with six. Very even there, but Moresmo with many more in the third set on the winners. I'll tell you, Lindsay Davenport is going to have to dig deep to win this match. She's not playing her best tennis. She's a little frustrated right now. And Moresmo is playing tremendously well under the pressure of her first Grand Slam semi. That return, not quite out of reach, but good enough. And it's point to Davenport, 30-15. We have been talking so much these last few days about Davenport and how well she is wearing that number one in the world crown. But it, at this point, fits rather uneasily in the semifinals. A good change there from Davenport. A short ball. Moresmo waiting for it to go into the backhand corner. The depth of that last shot set this one up. Break point. Good recovery from 30 love for Davenport to find herself at break point. Turning points, that game may well be another one as Lindsay Davenport breaks her for the second time this set. She has been broken once. She'll serve ahead 3-2. Warm well, welcome back, everybody, as we continue our coverage here of the Australian Open from Melbourne Park. There is a